Investing and doing good business are two of the sure paths of obtaining wealth in any time period, in any part of the country, at any time in the history of the world. And many of us would like to take advantage of such opportunities. But sometimes we move too fast. And as my homeboy Ocean says, when you rush, you crush. And for those of us who like business and like investing, sometimes we deal with people who want to take advantage of us and they are called scammers or people who are defrauders. And this is the case with Mr. Caesar Pena. Now he has what is considered a, um, he's been arrested for fraud in the field of real estate and associated with him is very popular radio host, DJ Envy. And of course, this has been trending a lot in the East Coast, especially around the hip hop and black world because DJ Envy and this guy have defrauded many people out of their money. And one of the first people to talk about it that I saw was pocket watching with JT, but even before him was Tony the Closer. And according to pocket watching with JT, he created this phrase. Today, we are talking about scamming news, the real estate Rico, and I'm pretty sure Tony the Closer has that trademark. The real estate Rico story of DJ Envy and Caesar Pena. That is right. It is called Real Estate Rico. Now, again, Cesar Pena was arrested and was recently let out of jail. And in fact, Tony the Closer, who was also in the business himself of real estate, he had DJ Envy on an interview on Instagram. And this is what happened. You a nice guy that got a lot of followers. I would be a fucking asshole. I call my accountant and I'm like, hey, look at this deal. Does this deal make sense? No, it doesn't make sense. I'm not doing it. So that's how it so is. That's, that's what people I, I say. Like, I, you know, I like keeping it real, right? So how, how, have you, how has your business dealings been with Caesar? Some have been great. Some haven't been. Some have been really good and I made a lot of money and some have been slow. And that's why I say when, when people invest money, sometimes it goes like this, right? And you know this. I didn't hit with, with Caesar a couple of times and flip money in less than 30 days. Some of my builders, like the school, we still got, and I haven't got my money back yet. But I know that's part of the game. But I also do know there's certain things that need to happen. Like when it comes to Caesar, you know, we've had a conversation, and I spoke to him, and I spoke to Jen, and I told him if he does, and I asked him personally, I said, do you owe people money? Does he owe you money? We have an investment together that we're going to sell. He does not owe me money. We partnered up on a property. We partnered up on a property. Does and he owe half. It's owe you money, DJ Henry? To school, let me tell you. I, I, I don't, I, I don't you and I there. talked offline, DJ Envy. No, I'm gonna tell you 100%. No, I'm gonna tell you. You can't you do that, DJ Envy. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You're gonna let me speak or we not. No, nah, but we gotta is, do If we're gonna tell the truth, we gotta tell we gonna, the, we gonna tell the truth. Now, now, now. We're gonna, we, we, we speaking the truth. Because I, I tell you everything. I talk to you offline. That's what I'm I saying. I told you, me and Caesar, me and Caesar, we bought a school. That's the only outstanding deal that we have. That school never came back, and that school is not done yet. When I spoke to Caesar today, he told, I told him I have a problem, and he said, I'm giving you your money back. That's it. So we don't have, we don't have any dealings with each other. And I, told, and, and I even told you, because when we had that conversation, I called him last night. I'm like, do you owe anybody money? Caesar told me no. He said there was people that we invested with that did well, and there was people that we didn't invest with that it takes a little longer. And I told him, whatever you need to do, give them people back their money. That's all, that's all it is. But when it comes to it, that's what it is. And, he, and you find somebody else that that will, will talk to you on live in a minute to talk to you about the real because i honestly but you, you can but ask you know people, listen, but you know you know we talked offline though that's why i asked you the question and it's like you know we personally and, offline i mean i know you might be wanting to still not really draw your man under but like we talked offline and we, we spoke online yesterday that's why i was kind of upset when you put out a, a picture of me because, and season and dj's and his partner owes all this money and i'm like damn he spoke last night and i'm telling you i would tell you and if I'm not sure, I believe that DJ Envy has a lawsuit against Tony the Closer for defamation of character. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me. But let's get into the whole situation. Now, DJ Academics has been against the Breakfast Club promoting scammers on their platform. And here's a clip of that. If you see a entertainment channel start promoting financial advice, it's usually 99.999 times a scam if your entertainment like what the does the breakfast club know about financial advice the 
are you over here telling people where to invest millions of dollars or invest their life savings? The Breakfast Club got to stop letting scammers come up there. I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all got to stand accountable for this. Shit. I'm talking about not only the Breakfast Club, but all platforms. This is a epidemic where we have people with established platforms hand their platforms over to scammers. And then when the scammers get exposed, they act like they never did it. Oh, we didn't know there were scammers. Why the f*** did you co-sign them in the beginning? Don't you listen to these funky ass n****s tell you sh So now how does the beef between DJ Academics and Tony Closer come out? Because both of them are against scammers. I've never heard anybody say that Tony the Closer scammed them with his scores or anything like that. But today, we're going to talk to our brother Poetic Flacco, who breaks down the conflict like this. Here's the thing. Ak is just super entertaining and his audience cares about the situation. So he's getting content out of this left and right. So there's people who trailblaze the DJ Envy conversation when nobody was talking about it who were upset. They're upset because they feel like they started this wave. They created terms like Real Estate Rico. And now the wave is being taken away from them because academics is such a big force field. You know, that his audience, his prestige, you know, um, his clout, you know, is making him the go-to person for this conversation. And one of the people who are upset about this is Tony the Closer. See, he took the Twitter to essentially let academics know that he's not happy. See, when academics announced that he was going live, Tony the Closer shared academics' tweet and said this. How are you breaking it down and don't know the facts? Just gossip. Real estate Rico is my term as well. So Academics responded on his live stream. Now, Academics broke down why he didn't invite Tony the Closer on stream like he did for other people and why he don't have any plans in working with Tony the Closer. I understand you feel like you are one of the people who have been in the fore foreground of exposing DJ Envy or whatever the case is. That is not my concern. I am not on a pro expose DJ Envy or nobody's campaign. Maybe you are, but I am not, Okay. Now, when I've seen a few messages, and I've seen this about four or five times, so I got to address you. When you, So I say I'm breaking down the uh, real estate, Rico. I get it. That's your term. Cool. We give you credit. You're the best. You made up this term. I thought it was Rick Ross, but you got it. It's cool. Now, what you're starting to do, which I don't like, and I'm going to call it out now, Tony the Closer, academics don't need you. Academics don't need envy. Academics don't need a mother. So let me be very clear with you. And let me be very clear with anybody who's in this shit. You're promoting shit too. The reason why you ain't on my, 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 my live stream yet, because I don't want a mother up to promote nothing with real estate to my audience. Y'all are all scammers. So as you see, Tony the Closer was somewhat upset that DJ Academics took the term real estate Rico and when he took that term of real estate Rico without giving him proper credit and going live and not inviting him on the live, it got messy and DJ Academics wouldn't bring Tony the Closer onto the live because he felt that Tony the Closer was a scammer. And Tony the Closer did not take that lightly. He offered up to $500,000 to, um, you know, basically fight DJ Academics in a nonprofit match. And now he has this to say. Huh? Riding, cloud chasing, bro, your whole platform is built on talking about strangers you don't know. Your whole platform is built on talking about strangers. You talking about cloud chasing, cuz? You talking about cloud chasing, my you call me a scammer? Let me tell you what you're not going to do. And I'm going to sue you. I'm going to make sure. See, I'm going to make an example. You the perfect. I know you got money. See, a lot of people be doing that, that slander and shit. And I can't do nothing about it because you broke. See, but you actually got money, act. And I'm going to show you the consequences when you use shit. Because I had a whole bunch of people. It, it, it tore my business up, man. So many people stopped doing business with me already. Yeah, man. I, I got people calling me scammer all in, on Twitter and all that shit. I screenshot all that because... I'm going to sue you and I'm going to punish you online. See, so let me say this. I don't know Tony the Closer personally. Um, I believe he knows of me. I know of him. I think he's a, a hilarious guy. Again, I've never heard anything uh, negative about him. I've only heard good things. 
He does sell courses. He does sell real estate, I believe, information and stuff like that. A lot of people sell courses on YouTube. That doesn't make it necessarily bad. I try to stay away from that because, you know, it only just takes one person to start saying something about you. But I've never heard anything bad about the brother. Um, I like the guy from what I see from him. Brother Eli, what happened to Common Sense? I like him. Um, again, he I, I've never heard anything bad about the brother. But what DJ Academics is saying that, hey, since Tony the Closer is also selling courses, that he wants to come on to his platform, get recognition, and he wants to just bring down these other people as a strategy to bring more clout to himself. And again, I don't know if there's proof that Tony the Closer is doing that. I've never heard it, but Academic says there's no way he's gonna bring somebody like that onto his platform. And Academic says, hey, listen, I make more money than you know all of you guys. I do content, I, I, you know, I get my AdSense revenue or my uh, other kind of revenue when it comes to, let's say the podcast deal. And he's not bringing anybody who sells courses onto his platform, fair enough. Um, again, I've never heard of Tony doing that, so I'm not sure, and I don't like scammers. But I think what happens is that when there's so many people in the game that do the course thing, that do the real estate thing and do the credit thing. And with a platform like DJ Academics, when you bring somebody onto your platform that might be involved in that, and if they you know, have an issue with scamming somebody, then it looks bad on you. Just the other day, I got an offer for somebody to come on my Ken Ganda platform, which is nowhere near as big as Tony the Closer or Academics. But the guy wanted to basically sell something with it that came to like investing into Kenyan business or something like that. And I had to decline because anything that bad happens will be my fault. And I think that's what academics is saying. But I still don't think that maybe academics should have said it in that way because there is no real evidence that Tony the Closer has ever scammed anybody or has ever done any harm to anybody. And so this is why Tony the Closer is saying he's going to sue academics. And the reality is, is that I thought the whole idea was really supposed to be focused on, you know, Caesar Pena, DJ Envy, and not Tony the Closer or even academics. But this fallout has happened. I really like both of these guys. I, I, you know, I'm, I do love what academics has done. Um, I, I like Tony the Closer a whole lot. Hopefully this can be, you know, resolved amicably. Um, academics says he doesn't have a problem with the guy. But um, again, you know, if you call out somebody and say they're a scammer, when, you know, you have a huge platform like that, you, you, you could definitely affect, you know, their, their, their business and things like that. And people will not want to work with you. Um, but guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I'm out. Peace.